Hey there guys, what's going on today? Another review of it from PMKF30. Uh, this is actually, um, you know, pretty sure, you know, nobody else has ever really done every single cosmic color in one sitting. I know people have done these three, which are the actual new and cosmic colors, but uh, apparently the Northern Lights was added to that. Even previously, it was just considered a glow in the dark, which you can actually see right there. Now, I reviewed two of these the, the Northern Lights and the one in the middle, the Solar Wind, which is the first cosmic color I got, but I recently got the other two Stardust and Milky Way. And I figured I'd get all of them done, you know, in, a, in one video, you know. So this this will probably have some edit cuts, if you notice. Um, or maybe not, I'll see, I don't know. Probably, though. Uh, so the ones that I've done already, I I'm not, I don't want to spend too much time on. Alright, so this is pretty much... Oh. <laughs> this is the one that I did in one of my previous putty videos, recently. They all say the same thing in the back, you know, the box. Uh... You know, include the charger, bounce it, knead it, and it glows in the dark, stretch it, twist it. And it says, use the glow charger to activate the phosphorescent properties of all your super glow and thinking putty. Solid glows can be charged by shining the light all over the putty for about a minute, while, speckling, while speckled glows can be charged and recharged over and over in the dark. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much, they all say that. I'm gonna move the boxes out of here for now. Let me just uh, put that there for a second. Let me get my phone out of the way. Oh, wait, let me move it back there. Um, okay. Uh, alrighty. Yeah, same thing. So they have the same box, you know. pretty cool. Alrighty, now this one came with it inside the thing, it was a little sticky, I'm assuming these will also have it, so this is the Thinking Putty, Cosmic Thinking Putty Stardust, and on the back they tell you some facts, so this one says, Stardust is the material that remains when stars explode into supernovas, that's when the sun explodes, Earth accumulates over 35,000 tons of it every year. As a black, as black, as black as deepest space, stardust thick and putty glimmers with rainbow holographic glitter in daylight and glows with mysterious multicolored sparkles in the dark. And you go to puttyworld.com, that's where you can find these. Alright, and you got Milky Way here. Alright, so this one's like a purplish, you know, I guess, you know, nighttime uh, looking one. This one, the stardust is more midnight, you know, jet black space looking. Uh, this one says, there are 400 billion stars, just like our sun in this galaxy, and between 1 and 200 billion galaxies in the universe. Think big with Milky Way, thinking putty. A vast, sparkling violet, it glows with a swirling, shimmering nebula of color in the dark, just like the little galaxy we call home. Now, some people speculate that the universe is technically infinite, but who knows, that's another debate. Alright, and this one, the solar wind, and in the back, just refresh your memory, the solar wind is a cosmic powerhouse reaching temperatures of over 2 million degrees Fahrenheit and supersonic speeds of over 1.5 million miles per hour. When you need to tap into your own personal power, reach for solar wind thinking putty. Fiery orange by day, it glows red in the dark. So yeah. So that's the solar wind and the northern light. I'll do these last since I've already done these in prior videos, so I'll do the new ones. First I'll do Milky Way, alright? Oh, and Milky Way also has the thing, same thing. So they put them in these little mini Ziploc baggies, you know? Which is kind of cool, but it could be a little bit of a annoying. <laughs> As you can see, it sticks. This is a very soft putty, so it's gonna stick. Oh. Alrighty. Uh, Alright, that's a little annoying. Hopefully I can get all this out. Oh, shouldn't, be, shouldn't be too bad, shouldn't be too bad. Alright. Alright. Unfortunately, just like the solo wind, you're going to have some putty remaining on the bag, I think. Uh, there's just nothing you can do about that unless you spend like an hour picking off every little speck of putty off the bag. But if you get most of it, you know, it's good enough. 
Personally, I, I thought the little plastic shield on, on, on top of the putty with the little space for the light, I thought that was a better idea just because this is uh, a little messier, but you know, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to put that over there, the baggie there. Put this baggie there. Alright. Show you guys that. I'm, while I'm at it, let me get this one out. Uh, this one seem, doesn't seem to be as bad. It's in there a little bit better. Just, uh, uh, huh, this one got inside the bag a little bit. Well, no, actually, in the outside bag, it's my fault. Alright, this one by far was the smoothest <laughs> out, of the, out of the three. Alrighty. See? Okay. So, I'll put you there. So, I got the lights on the right there. I have the putties right here. Let me just put that. Get that remaining putty in there. Alright. So, these are how all of them look. Alright. You got the Milky Way. I'm going to show you how they look in the daytime first. It's Milky Way. Alright. See? It's like a nice, shiny uh, purple. You know, like night. Literally in, inside. Very squishy, I would say, from a scale from 1 to 10. Softness to hardness rating. This is easily about a, like a 2. Anyone can play with it. Alright. Put you back there. You see it bounces. Because I got a piece of wood here. Bounces well, stretches well. Let's see how it does the transparent window. Perfect. Beautiful. And you can actually see the literary specs in there too, so that's cool. Alright. See how it tears? Tears smoothly. Or rips. Doesn't really have a smell. Kind of like a similar smell to the Super Illusions, that slight, slight medicinal smell. See how it rips. Alright. Rips pretty well. Alright. One, two, three. Yeah. Rip. Bounces well, rips well. Uh, gonna test how it glows. See if it sculpts here, actually. There we go. It's gonna make a little, I don't know, spiral or something. Sculpts pretty well. Pretty cool. Alright, see how the memory effect is. Not bad. It's, it's kind of uh, reverting back to its normal. Stretch it a little bit, and you see it moving back a little bit. So yeah, there's a little bit of a memory effect there. See how it pops now. I'm gonna take a little piece off and pop it. Pops pretty well. I kind of muffled that though, but yeah. So yeah, so that's the Milky Way. Now let's move on to the... Um... Yeah. Let's move on to the... Uh, actually, you know what, before I go on to that, I'm going to test how the Milky Way glows here, okay? Okie dokie. So, I'm going to bring this in the dark room here. And we're going to see how this baby glows. Alright, so I got, I got the thing here. And uh, it's really jet black in this bathroom. So I am just going to charge the putty a little bit. You can see the sparkles there. There we go. Oh, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Just like looking up at a midnight sky, you know. Pretty cool. You see the stars and the galaxy. So this is Milky Way. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's see if I could make a face. And there. And there. There. Hello. Yeah. I'm Milky Way, party. Okay. Now I'm going to see if I could transform it from glowing to light. Back to light. There you go. That's what it looks like. 
So there, pretty cool transition. So that's the Milky Way putty. Let's move on to Stardust now. Alright, okay. Ah, this tin is not quite even. There we go. Alright. Now this one, like I said, I've done this one before, so I'm just going to do a glow test for this one, okay? Because you could do the same thing, you know, it's a nice shimmery, pearly color. So if I do this, yeah, I'll save that for last actually, since I've already reviewed that. Let me show you the Stardust, alright? So, the Stardust here, yeah. As you can see, it's kind of like uh, uh, Bah Humbug and uh, Lump of Coal, kind of. But this is a bit lighter because it's kind of like black, but it's got more specks in it. You can see it, see all the specks and the sparkles and stuff. It's pretty neat. The transparent window, beautiful. Oh. Okay, see how it bounces. Same texture as the other one. This one has a little bit of a smell though. See how it sculpts? Right. Make a, a big wall here. With a, with a few points. You get my point? <laughs> I know it's a bad joke. Okay, there. So it goes pretty well. See how it stretches. Stretches well, just like the other ones. Tears well. Tears smoothly. You can see in between the little sparkles there. A little bit darker, kind of. See how it uh, pops here. Very easy to mold over your thumb. Very easy to get bubbles. Pops beautifully. Okay, nice color too, very soft. This may be even softer than the other. I'd say about they're the same actually, about one and a half to two out of ten. Very soft. Anybody could play with this. So yeah, now let's test the glowing effect. For the Stardust now, okay. I'm bring the camera with me again into the dark bathroom. Sorry about that. Somebody is uh, has some family friends over upstairs. So, all right. Let's see how this goes now. All right. Charge that putty up. Okay, that's the Stardust. Similar to the uh, Milky Way, but this is more of a green speck, I guess. The other one's more like purplish. I don't know, kind of, you know. So, yeah, uh, it's pretty cool. Oh, actually, yeah, now that I'm looking, I don't know if the camera could pick it up, but it's actually like red and green Christmas colors. That's what it's glowing, literally. Yeah, red and green. Ooh. Pretty cool. So yeah, you just have a UV charge light and you could glow look like you're looking in the universe. Pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Yep. Sorry about that. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So that's the Stardust thinking putty. Now we have the Solar Wind. So the Solar Wind I've already reviewed for you guys. But I'll show you again. Nice orangey, smooth color. This one has virtually no smell at all. This one had a slight, the Milky Way had a slight medicinal smell. The Stardust had a weird smell to it, but not, not a strong smell. This one has no smell. This one's also the most like shimmery metallic in my opinion. The, uh, the, uh, was it Sunburst? Solar Wind, yeah, okay. Yeah, Sunburst is uh, something else. <laughs> so yeah, stretches well, bounces well, you know. Pops well. Let's see though, Let's test it right now. Pops beautifully. Yeah, this one's definitely more of a metallic, shimmer, shimmery looking, uh, you know, it sculpts pretty well. It's got the uh, memory effect. 
Oh, that's one thing I didn't test with this one. Let me test the Starbust. The Starbust. Stardust. Every effect really quick. Alright. Yeah, it's there. It's there a little bit. Pretty cool. Let me stretch it out. Yeah, it wants to revert back to its normal self. So yeah, the memory effect there from all three, or all four, is pretty good. Pretty solid, I must say. Alright. So this, let's take this and take it out for the glow test. Alrighty. This is still my favorite, I gotta say, because it reminds me of, look how bold that is. It's like the glowing of the sun, you know? A soul